World records have always been interesting. So interesting that a company has made over 60 books about them. But today I want to take a look at some of the more interesting records in Professional League of Legends. From the fastest game ever played, to the biggest loose streaks, and more. But before we get into that, today's video is sponsored by Opera GX. Opera GX is the world's first browser for gamers. This browser keeps all of your gaming needs in one place while offering you features that you can't get from other browsers. Like the ability to limit how much RAM and CPU power your browser uses. This is especially useful when you're trying to run a demanding game and you don't want your browser to be using up your PC power. And then the network limiter quite literally allows you to limit how much bandwidth Opera GX can use while you're gaming. Among those technical features, you have other things like Twitch integration, where you can be logged in and see when any of your favorite streamers go live without even checking the website. Opera GX has tons of customization and is unironically a great browser for gamers. Also, if you're hesitant about switching browsers, they offer a feature that imports all of your old settings and bookmarks from your previous browser. So if any of this sounds good to you, download Opera GX today with the first link in the description. Now with that being said, let's jump into the video. Getting the video started, we'll take a look at some basic records. The longest and the shortest professional League of Legends games. With number 5, we'll take a look at the shortest. If you're a viewer of this channel, you probably remember when I spoke about the all-female team who lost a pro game in 13 minutes. But surprisingly, that is not the all-time shortest professional game. Instead, the record for the shortest game ever is actually almost half of that time. This was a pro game of League of Legends that only lasted 7 minutes and 30 seconds. The reason for why this happened is that this game was played with all of the players playing from home, and for some reason, the Lucian in the game was having connection issues. This delayed the start of the game for over 30 minutes before playing the game out regardless. Lucian did end up connecting, but it seemed his connection was too poor to properly play on, as he went back and sat in the fountain. His team, however, continued to play the game out until they basically just opened up the bot lane and let the opposing team win. But to make matters worse, the announcers mentioned that this team would receive some sort of punishment, because apparently, regardless of missing a player, they were still supposed to play the game out to the best of their abilities. Oh, and by the way, ironically, this team that now holds the record for the shortest game ever is literally named Another Troll Team. Maybe it was Destiny. Moving forward with number 4, we go on to the longest game. Now, I separated these two because I also want to mention the longest professional game without a kill. Realistically speaking, it's generally rare to have no kills 5 minutes into a match. But what if I told you that on April 27th, 2020, two teams from the LPL played 33 minutes of a game before getting their first kill. We got some spells. We got some spells. We We're getting get closer. Kill. We had 26 Whew. minutes without Let's one. go. Let's go, Summoner Spells, that's the excitement you tune in for in the sure. And then 7 minutes after the first kill, the game came to an end. This was primarily due to the fact that after letting the game go for so long, the respawn timers were really long. Although dying for the first time, Nautilus had to wait 46 seconds before being able to get back into the game. But alright, if that's not bad enough, let's touch on the longest professional game of league ever. It was this game between SKT T1 and Jin Air on January 20th, 2018. Long story short, it lasted 94 minutes. And with the inclusion of the champion select and the post-match interviews, the broadcast for this game was over 2 hours long. Also, I say long story short because long story, it was really boring. At times, there was so little going on that the commentators would just have small talk with one another. So how's your night going? You know, it's taken some twists and turns I didn't see coming. 
Uh, I thought maybe getting some chicken wings tonight, but that was about three hours ago. Yeah. That's not happening. I was expecting to be done by about, you know, 9.45, 10.15, something like that. Instead, I think one of the more interesting parts of the game is number three, the record for the most CS. If you play the game, you know that killing the little minion fellers is one of the most important parts of the game. In every match, you want to kill as many as you can. Usually having anywhere between 200 to 250 by the end of the game means you did more than good enough. But what if I told you that the record for the most CS in one game is actually over 1000, specifically 1465. It was done by the player named Teddy on Jin Air while playing Sivir. However, interestingly enough, ever since this game, no one has come close to breaking this record. Perhaps it's something to do with certain item or rune changes, but in general it seems a professional game of League has not surpassed the 1 hour mark since 2018. To be fair, this isn't a bad thing. There really is no way a 90 minute game of League of Legends with 22 total kills could possibly be entertaining to watch. So whatever the game changes were that caused this to not be as likely anymore, I think those changes are welcomed. With that in mind, unlike the other records in this video, there's a high chance that this one will never be broken. The minion genocide continues. Next up with number two, the longest winning and losing streaks. When it comes down to League of Legends, I don't think anyone will be taking away Victus's crown, as they lost 28 straight games without ever picking up a win. On the flip side, the longest win streak in Pro League of Legends is 28 wins by the Flash Wolves in Taiwan. These were 28 games played in best of 3 matches. And funny enough, their win streak came to an end in game 1 of the season's final but they didn't choke and won the remaining games. Now quickly, here's some other esports. In Dota 2, the B8 esports lost 26 games in a row before scrapping their entire team, starting over, and then they finally won. In Overwatch, you probably know this, but the Shanghai Dragons hold one of the worst lose streaks in general competitions. They lost 40 games before ever accomplishing anything. And then, in the way far out spectrum, you have the ninjas in pajamas who won 87 games straight of professional CSGO. Now ending the video with number 1, the player with the most world's appearances. The world championship is the end all be all of competitive League of Legends. And despite the fact that a North American team has never won the tournament, the player with the most appearances is actually Doublelift, a North American player with 8 appearances. Second place is actually also a North American player, Sneaky with 7. However, although Doublelift has the most appearances, his achievement comes with a little bit of sourness. But I want it bigger. I don't want to just win NLCS. I want to win Worlds. And I hope people will remember me as one of the first North American World Champions. Obviously, despite having gone to Worlds eight times, he never became a World Champion. But even worse, the meme with Doublelift is that he has never gotten out of the group stage the first stage of the tournament. In 2019, he preemptively celebrated his group drawing by saying that this would be the year he gets out of groups. There's nothing Team Liquid can do, and Invictus Gaming will be eliminating the third and final LCS contender from Worlds. Unfortunately, it wasn't. His team got three wins, three losses, and didn't advance. Then, in the following year, Doublelift and his teammates achieved another record. They became the first team from a major region to go 0 and 6 in groups. TSM failed to pick up a single win. Later that year, Doublelift would go on to retire from Professional League of Legends, making it now very unlikely that he will ever actually become a world champion. But anyway, as always, if you made it this far, thank you guys for watching, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you again next week. Week. Next week. Sorry for abandoning you. My friends, I won't let this happen again. Thank you promise. Thank you promise. Thank you promise.